Hello and welcome to a video on fiber mesh. In this video I want to cover how we can just use only fiber mesh to create a tree and then we're going to end with using the micro mesh to insert flowers all over our tree. So let's begin with the plain 3D. I'm going to go ahead and make that a poly mesh and just mask off the center part of our plane here. I'm going to go ahead and turn on my fiber mesh sub palette now. When I click on preview you can see we make several fibers here. I only want one because I'm building one tree and I'm looking to build the trunk of my tree. So I'm going to turn down my max fibers all the way down to one. I also want the gravity to start pulling down on this plane where the tree is being created. So I'm going to put my gravity up all the way. I'm also going to move my length all the way up. And you can see we start getting some kind of trunk being built. The next thing I want to do is put a little more profiles in our tree so I have four faces to play with here. I also want to make some changes on my flare. So I'm going to go ahead and change a little bit of my flare options so I can get a little variation in, in the tree that I'm looking to, to build. I also want to drop down probably my coverage a little bit because I don't want the tree trunk to be that wide. So once I have a good start there, the last thing I want to do is add some segments to my tree. And you can see it's got a little bit too much twist. So I'm going to drop down that twist just a little bit. I'm going to type in a lesser value here. And you can see we have a great start to a tree that we can use to build off of. So let's go ahead and accept that tree. Now that we got a start of our tree using a fiber, let's go ahead and select that. And ZBrush is going to create this tree with an open trunk. So I'm going to go into our geometry sub palette and click on the close hole operation. I'm going to now subdivide this tree just to give it some more geometry and I'm going to stretch out this tree so it becomes a little bit taller. We don't need the plane anymore as we just use that to build the base of our tree so I'm going to go ahead and turn that off. Now I want to say where I want my particular branches to start growing from. So I'm going to mask off just the top part of my tree. I'm going to blur this mask a little bit more as well. Once I have the general area where I want branches to grow, let's go ahead and turn on our fiber mesh. You can see by default ZBrush is going to remember the current settings that we had. I'm going to go ahead and start adding some more branches to our tree here. And I also want to change the gravity and put that back down to zero. And we want the branches to start look like they're going up the tree. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving up my H tangent. And as you can see the branches will start moving up the tree. My length is a little bit tweaking needed right here, maybe a little too long in certain spots, and we don't want as much length variation. And then I'm going to adjust also my coverage and a little bit of my flare features. So that's a pretty good coverage. And my, my flare, about where that is, that's looking pretty good. So the rest looks pretty good. So now all I have to do is accept this. Now what I've done is created medium sized branches for my tree. Now the subtool palette, I'm going to go ahead and click on these new branches. And now let's build some branches that are a lot smaller. So I'm going to click on our preview button and we're going to get those previous settings. So the coverage is just too much at this point. So we're going to drop that down. Also my length is way too much. So we're going to drop that down quite a bit. We're going to need more of these branches because this is where our, our leaves are going to go. So we're going to up these branches just a bit and then even bring our length down. Play with our little H tangent a little bit. I want to add a couple more segments here so I'm going to move the segments to 10. So I like what's happening here so I'm going to go ahead and accept that. Now what we have done is created our tree off one fiber mesh, created some medium sized branches, now created some small branches that now we're going to be building leaves off of. So let's go ahead and do that next. 